Well, thank you all so much for joining us again on our new Tuesday schedule. Um, today, we're going to be making catapults. Um, so for that, you will need some popsicle sticks. You'll want uh, a couple rubber bands. You don't need this many, but that's just what I grabbed. You will probably want, if you have a plastic spoon or fork, that'll work great. If you just have metal, that is okay too. We'll just be extra careful not to hit ourselves with the spoon. Um, and then you'll want something to launch in your catapult. So I have little pom-poms, but maybe you have a bouncy ball or a ping pong ball or something about the size that can sit in your spoon or fork. All right, so I'll let Elizabeth, I think you've all joined us before, but maybe Elizabeth can give us a quick reminder of some basic Zoom rules and then we'll get started. Great, thanks Elizabeth. I am at my office today, so my camera work is a little different, so let me know if you're having trouble seeing, but I think this should work. All right, so our first step is you're gonna grab some popsicle sticks. I'm probably gonna grab five of mine. We'll try that to start. Um, so you can grab a handful, and you wanna make them in a nice, neat stack. Um, and then you can grab a rubber band, and you're gonna, we're gonna do a lot of twisting rubber bands around things today. So a good thing is to loop it over and then you twist it. So it makes an X and then you loop it again and you twist it and then just keep looping and twisting. That way you can wrap it around a whole bunch of times. It's a little hard to see. Um, and it'll be nice and tight. So you're gonna do that at one end of your popsicle stick stack. And then you can grab another rubber band and do the same thing on the other end. So it's nice and sandwiched together. We wanna make sure these popsicle sticks aren't sliding around and away from each other. So I'm just keeping winding these up. So you should end up with something that sort of looks like this. So Trey's asking how many popsicle sticks. I did five for this one, um, but if you want to use six or seven or four, that should be okay. I'm going to start with five. The key thing, you'll want to make sure that you have at least two popsicle sticks left over for the other part of our catapult. So don't use up all of your popsicle sticks here. Good question. All right, I see some of you have some grown-ups helping you out, uh, being your Rubber band twisters, that's pretty good. It is tricky. It's something you have to sort of practice with a little bit, but it's definitely tricky. I tried to demonstrate, but it might be a good time to have a grown-up help you wrap them up. Looks like we've got some good wrapped popsicle sticks. Nippon showed off his. Awesome. Looking good. Jacob and Jerome are working on theirs. Alex and Dexter. All right, if you are still working, you can keep wrapping. I'm gonna show you the next step, and I'll leave this sitting out here. The next step is we take two more popsicle sticks, and we're gonna do something really similar. We're going to wrap another rubber band around one side, but we wanna keep it pretty close to the end. Not so close that it's gonna slip off, but we wanna have it be pretty close. I'm gonna do mine right about there. And again, I'm gonna use that same technique of wrap around, I'm trying to get on camera, twist it so it makes an X and then flip it over again and then twist it so it makes an X and keep doing that. It's going to be a, probably a little more because it's a little bit skinnier than my other stack of popsicle sticks, but I want to have it be pretty tight. I should end up with rubber band on just one side of this two popsicle stick stack. So I'll let you all keep wrapping. There's Which side do you have to do it, on the right or the left? That's a great question, Junie. It actually does not matter. As long as it's on just one side, this one is going to be nice and reversible. So it's up to you. I put it on my, for me, it's on my left. But it is totally OK. It's up to you. Good question. All right. So, so far we have this big, wide stack of five popsicle sticks with sandwich, rubber band on both sides. And we have this slightly skinnier stack of two. 
You can see there's two now with rubber band on just one side. Can we only do one stack? Do you mean rather than having these two stacks, Trey? You're gonna want both of these because we're gonna combine them in a second. So you'll want that. But if you're running low on popsicle sticks, maybe you and Corinne could make one together. So if you have, right now I have a total of seven sticks that are being used here. You could combine them. Um, or you could maybe have fewer in this wide stack. You definitely need two popsicle sticks for this combination though. I'm gonna show you why in a second. It looks like we still have some wrapping going on, but I'm gonna show you a couple of other things. So this, I'm gonna show you why we only wrapped one side of this. We're gonna take this wide one, this one that has the five popsicle sticks, and I'm gonna open up the open side of our two, and I'm gonna slide it in between them. And I wanna get pretty far in there. So then I end up with something that sort of looks like this. If I kept pushing, it might break the popsicle stick, so I don't wanna go really far, but I wanna push it in pretty far into my popsicle stick sandwich, which now, sort of looks like an alligator to me with its mouth open a little bit. All right. And again, if you would put it on the other side, like a Junie was asking about, yours can look just like this. That is totally okay. So push that in. And I sort of have it in the middle of this, as close as I can get. But if it's left or right a little bit, here I'll tilt my camera up a little bit more. If it's the left or right, it is not the end of the world. We just want it pretty much as close to the middle as I can get. I see a lot of people holding up their, their popsicle sticks. That's awesome. So it looks like- on, That looks great. Dexter, that looks awesome. I like that you have different colored popsicle sticks. If you want, you can also decorate. If you just have these plain wooden ones, if you have markers, you could decorate your plain wood popsicle sticks as well. So you could have a cool design or you could make it all one color. You could do it with paint. I don't know if crayons would work on it, but I'd be curious to see. All right. When you have it looking like this, give me a thumbs up. That way I'm trying to hold thumbs up on my camera. It's just hard to get it at the right angle. I got a thumbs up from Dexter. Awesome. Thumbs up from Jacob and Jerome. Perfect. Deck, or Trey, you're giving me a thumbs down, dude. That's not what I like to see. You can keep working. All right, need to thumbs, thumbs, up. thumbs up. All right. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next step. But if you are still working, that is okay. So I have another rubber band and I'm going to wrap it just around this top part this top part. I don't want to go around both of them, just this top one. And something that might speed it up is I'm going to wrap it into around my fingers a few times. So I have two fingers. That way it's a little easier to wrap around something that's wider and then slip it on to my popsicle stick. If that doesn't work for you, it's totally okay. You just want to wrap it on pretty tight to this top popsicle stick. If you can do it better than me by not wrapping around your fingers, go for that strategy. So you should have something like this. It's a, right now it's sort of a funny thing of just a bunch of popsicle sticks and rubber bands. Again, if you have some grown-up help, this is probably a good time. This is sort of one actually one of the trickiest ones to wrap onto, I think, because you have a whole long rubber band usually and then a pretty skinny stick. All right. Seeing some thumbs up, but some people are still working. That's all right. This one is a little tricky. This is a, a tricky one where sometimes my guess is that if Excuse you make me? Kind of, Yeah, go ahead, Junie. What are we even you. making? Because um I came late. We're making a catapult. What's that? It is a machine that we can use to launch something like pom-poms or um, little balls, things like that. So you'll get to see something in action now if you haven't seen a catapult before. Good question. All right. What I was about to say was, if you're having a little trouble with this now, that is totally understandable. 
My guess is that if you make a second catapult after we're done today, it'll be way easier for you because you'll have learned some of the tricks about wrapping rubber bands and everything like that. I see some people are already even ahead of you, Peter. It looks like Jerome jumped ahead with his own idea with the, using that plastic spoon. Jerome, you are exactly right. So our next step is I'm going to take my spoon. Oh, Jacob has one too, look at that. Oh, nice. Good work, Jacob and Jerome. So I'm gonna take the, the handle end of my spoon and I'm gonna slip it in underneath the rubber band I put here. So slip it in. And I saw Jacob and Jerome had theirs all the way pushed down, it looked like. But you can pull it back if you want to. And Trey, you're still working on rubber bands. Are you doing the rubber band that's on this top part here? No, you're doing the bottom one. That is totally okay. If you are, if, if you have questions during this or you're having some trouble, I know I'm going kind of quick. We can always, the thing is we will post these up on YouTube. So you can always re-watch it at another time and go through those steps nice and slow again. And you can always pause it. It's kind of hard for you to pause me, but you'll be able to pause the video if you need to. All right. So once you have your spoon attached and it can be pushed in like this or it can be pulled out like that, give me a thumbs up. And that can be a virtual thumbs up or a real thumbs up. Looks like Dexter's ready, Ajuni's ready. Me puns ready. We know Jacob and Jerome are ready. Trankrin, are you having, do you have questions or you're just having a little bit of trouble working with those rubber bands? The, the rubber bands? I think you have really long rubber bands, which actually makes it kind of hard. If you have a smaller rubber band, you have to do less wrapping than if you have a big, long, stretchy one because you have a, to use up a lot more space. All right. All right. Oh. Uh, Junie, do you mind muting yourself? I think your microphone keeps turning on. Thank you very much. Okay. So once your catapult looks something like this, we are ready to launch. So I'm going to, I'm using my little yellow pom pom. I'm going to put it in the spoon, I'm trying to get it so the camera can see it. My lighting is no good here, but I promise you. The pom-pom is going into my spoon. You can't see that at all. I'm sorry, but it I know. It does kind of disappear. I, I, I bet I have another. Oh, that, I got a good one. Here is a black pom-pom. Use two rubber bands to make it so it's stronger. Oh, so you put uh -huh. two on the spoon to hold on. That's a, that is an interesting idea. I'm excited to see how that goes. I'm using a black pom-pom, so you should be able to see that a little better. And I'm going to tilt my camera up again. So. To launch our pom-pom, I like to put one finger down here at the base, down at the edge, and then I'm gonna use another finger to pull my catapult back. And actually, I think it works better if I hold the end of the popsicle stick rather than the spoon. I'm gonna push it all the way down, and then get yours nice and low, and then I'm gonna count down from three, and we're gonna launch my pom-pom. Should we do it? Three. Two, Two, one, ten. launch. It went straight up and then rolled behind my desk. I can't even find it. So I'll have to use my yellow one. Did anyone else launch theirs? Looks like Dexter's getting ready to launch his. Oh, Dexter has a really big pom-pom. Sometimes it's it does fall it, out. He's having trouble staying on there. <laughs> All right, there Let's it goes. See. So maybe you could have some help from another person. It looks like there's someone else right next to you, Dexter. You could try that. Nippon, do you have a question or you want to show us your catapult? Can you do when I'm launching my catapult now? Yeah, let's see it. Can you point my screen down? Sure, I can. Awesome, um, that looks really good. Now I'm going to launch it. I've got my red pom-pom in here and I point the thing down 
for the rest and lunch. Ah, very nice. Let's see. I want to he hear how it goes. Even if we, it's kind of hard to watch because it's so fast. Yeah. I saw Alex and Dexter have been <laughs> doing some launching on theirs too. Jake and Jerome are giving us a really interesting view and angle of their catapult. All right, let's see how it goes. You guys ready to launch? All right. So does it, I noticed mine sort of went straight up. Does anyone have any ideas for changes I could try to make? Or maybe I could see if I could get it to launch. You the probably board. should put a little piece of paper on the spoon, and then you can try if if it, it goes it, if it goes a little bit differently. So rather than using the pom pom, maybe I make a little ball of paper. Is that what you're saying, Junie? No, put paper and then the pom pom on it, then push it. Hmm. Ah, maybe it would be a little bit more friction if you had paper on the spoon. I'm tearing off a piece of paper and you're saying sort of do it like this. So I'm crunching my paper into my spoon and then I'm gonna put my pom-pom in there. Let's see. I'm pushing it back. Did you see that the paper also went up and then fluttered down? That was pretty funny. We launched both. <laughs> One other thing you could try, you could try moving your spoon further away from the end of your popsicle stick or probably it's end. gonna it's gonna just go straight like a plane. Like straight up or straight out? Out. That would be cool. Should we see? I know it's kind of hard to see where it goes, but I will report back to you. <laughs> It went straight up again. I caught it. Hmm. I'm not sure. What else could we change? Anyone have any engineering tweaks that they found have worked well for them? What do you think? Peter, do you have any popsicles left or popsicle sticks left? I do. I have a whole bag of them. Do you have a suggestion, Elizabeth? I was thinking maybe if you put some under the end, you could tilt your catapult a little bit and then it might go. So tilt it up like this. Yeah. That's a good idea. Shit. So I'm going to grab a few more. We'll see if maybe just angling it so it's not launching straight up. Let's see. I have a big old stack of popsicle sticks. I'm not going to rubber band it yet while I'm still testing this. But maybe that's a good, maybe I should. So I'm going to try it again. Ooh, that worked better. It did go off to the side. Again, I know you can't see it, but <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to film this activity. I'm going to add even more popsicle sticks. I'm going to get crazy. Well, it looks like Alex and Dexter are trying all sorts of things because they're not even on camera anymore. They took their catapult and they're maybe trying to hold it at different angles or do it off different surfaces because they're gone experimenting. I like that. That's, that's the nice thing. You can take this. It doesn't need to be just at whatever table you're working on now. You can go somewhere and maybe you could measure how far it goes and make some changes. It's working. Another thing I could try, I put five popsicle sticks in my the middle of my thing. Maybe I should try it with fewer or maybe some more. So if you want to try that, you can always do that as well. I'm going to give that a whirl. So I have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it with eight popsicles. That might work. It might be worse. That is okay. A big part of engineering is trying things and making observations about how those changes affect your results. In this case, my result being how my pom-pom gets launched. So let's try it. I'm gonna put a stack of eight right in the middle of this, trying not to break my other popsicle sticks. All right, we're gonna launch it the other way now because I already have it set up that way. 
Oh, it goes way further down. The first time, because it's higher up on the middle here, it's going to go further back. I'm going to get my other pops. Go sticks out of the way here. That went so much further. So changing the amount of sticks I put in the middle here, this part called the fulcrum, it's a pretty cool, fancy word. That's going to change how much my popsicle stick had to bend back. All right. Does anyone have any observations or results that they want to share? Um, if maybe if you put uh, two pom poms, two little pom poms on the spoon, and then push it very high, maybe it'll go a little farther. So put two pom poms in the spoon. Yeah. Should we try? I'm gonna grab the pom pom that I just launched because it went on the floor. Here we go. So I have a red pom-pom and a yellow pom-pom. I'm gonna launch it this way again because I have a little more space on my desk. And if you have two things that it's safe to launch together, then you can go for it. Whoa, they both took off. That was really cool. A cool thing you could do is to put two objects in there that are a little bit different and see how they launch. So do they end up in the exact same space or do they go in different places and maybe think about why they move differently? Good suggestion, Ajuni. Does anyone else have any other thoughts? Well, if you build a catapult or if you keep building them, I would love to see a photo of them. You can post them on our Facebook page with the help of your grown-ups. You could take some pictures. I would love to see what yours look like. Um, I'd also like to see if you decorate yours, because I just have these plain wood popsicle sticks, but I bet you could make yours look really cool. Um, you can join us next Tuesday. That's when we'll be doing this again. Next Tuesday, we will be making slime together. So you'll get a couple of household ingredients, and you'll make your own slime, which will be kind of messy, but it'll be really fun. So I hope you can all join us next Tuesday at 10.30. Can you put a tissue paper? Can you put a tissue paper on your spoon and then put two pom-poms and see what it works? Um, I, my two pom-poms went really far away, but, so I can't go get them right now. I launched them really far, but I bet you could try, and if you attempt that at home, Ajuni, I would love to hear how it goes, because I think that's a really cool experiment. I love hearing all your creative ideas. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us again. And we will hopefully see you next week on Tuesday. And we'll see you then. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Wait, Nippon, do you have a question? Go what ahead. What will we need for the slime next what, Tuesday? What did you say? What will we need for the slime next Tuesday? So next Tuesday, we'll post it on our Facebook page, but next Tuesday you'll want some shampoo and some cornstarch and some water. You want a bowl to mix it in and something to help mix it with like a spatula or a spoon. And then you'll want some measuring spoons and measuring cups. And that's a whole bunch of stuff I just listed, but you probably have a lot of it at home already and we will post it on our Facebook page so you can get it all together. Can you put that in the chat today? Yeah, I can put that in the chat right now. You got it, Elizabeth? Yep. All right. Thank you. You're very no welcome. No problem. Two cornstarch water bowls, spatula spoon, measuring spoons, or measuring cups. Yep. There you go. So you, you will grab all those things and go ahead and save that if you want to save it now before we close up the meeting because that's going to disappear once we end it. All right, Trey's coming in from the side of his camera. I love it. All right, we will see you all next week. Have a good rest of your week, and hopefully we'll see you for slime making. Bye again, everybody. Bye.